Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, time for us to take a look at Thursday flipping and what is going to be coming with the market this weekend in terms of weekend league rewards, the movements, and obviously Thursday flipping, which is what we always take a look at on Wednesdays. Now, right now, a lot of people are hitting packs, and you guys might be thinking, yo, why aren't you putting out a pack video? To be honest, right now, I mean, these packs, the 81 pluses, for me at least, they're just not worth it. I mean, I've been doing a lot of the lower level upgrades. I've gotten a couple of team of the season cards, um, but it really hasn't been anything super duper special. I mean, if we if we look at some of the the cards that I've gotten so far, I've gotten the, these cards right here. I got the Atal today from my guaranteed, Variety last night from an upgrade, Savonier and Jose Fonte, both from upgrades. And it's honestly just a little bit disappointing right now at the moment with, with the state of these cards and their pack weight. I'll probably hit some more packs tonight. We'll try a few more out, um, but I'm not going to be going crazy with those, I don't think, um, because I kind of want to see what they do for Ultimate Tots. Um, I want to get Liquid for Ultimate Tots, and we're going to look at some of that stuff today as well in terms of um, what's going to be coming later this weekend with Ultimate Team this season coming out, because there are some big price movements that I want to clue you guys in on and talk about um, with that. But first... We need to look at Thursday flipping, and as you can tell by my transfer list, I don't have a lot of these cards up for sale right now. I need to list them, um, but but I just have a bunch of French and League One, uh, you know, kind of investments. I got this Marquinhos last week for 100 like 10k. Most of them are under 110. He's up to a solid 120. He's up a decent bit. Lala is going to continue to rise. This 185 I got last week as well. Um, you're starting to see some of these cards rise. The Furlan Mendy FFS card has risen up a lot. Um, and this Lala has, you know what? He's not moved up a ton. He, I sold a couple for 210 earlier. So if we see one dip below that 192, I'm a definite buyer on that card. Again, we're just watching for some of these low prices on the French cards and the League Ones. This card today has been all over the place. I bought one today in the panic right around 6 p.m. UK for like 179,000 coins. I'm not sure if it's up here or not. 170 right there. That was the one. 170 flat. Just crazy for this card. I know that there are other French midfielders in this team this season that are bringing this card's price down, but he's such a linkable card to put in between a Premier League player and a um, League One player. If you've got some Tots cards, kind of put together a hybrid squad. He's a perfect hybrid guy. That's why I have a decent amount of him. And of course, I do have some gold uh, and Bappes as well. So again, this week, we can continue to look for those League One cards to rise. Again, we can use our favorite page over here in Flipin. Just go by searching by players, FIFA 19 players, search by top five league, go down to League, league One. I'm on PS prices still. What's going on with that? But you can just scroll down here and scroll through some of these cards. Remember I talked about OR earlier this week, how that SBC was uh, 500 something K. This card dropped to 300,000 coins. It's now back up a little bit to break even after tax, but it's going to keep rising. That might hit 350 again this weekend. That's one thing you can watch. Um, and even some of these other informs. I really like this left wing Mbappe card. Matter of fact, I have I've been watching him to try to get a decent deal on his card. You know, under 900k is kind of what I'm liking to pay for that card. There's one there on bid that I'm watching. And when I see them under 900k, I, I usually buy them because that card is is a very rare position change card, and if you look at past weeks, like last week, uh, the Koulibaly went up a lot as a CDM um, in his position for the Serie A Tots. The foot birthday cards with their position change went up a lot headed out of, uh, or after Thursday rewards of their team of the season when that league was in team of the season. So I think this Mbappe card, this could hit a mil and 1.1 respectively. I think it could easily go up 100,000 coins, and that is pretty, pretty good profit. Um, on a card like this, but you can continue to look through these cards um, Through these team of the season cards not excuse me not team of the season cards links to these team of the season cards Look at informs other special cards that aren't up too much yet um, Lala is very intriguing to me, but I have seen a lot of people pack him out of the guaranteed today So I wonder if that's why his price hasn't gone up that much um, Wow, is this card really 160? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this was the man. Good night. Look at that rise in price from 80,000 coins up to 160k. He's way too high. Um, that's the Jadon Sancho of a couple weeks ago. Wow, Ferland Mendy is still up as well. 200,000 coins. He's up 
a lot as well, up from 150. So a lot of these cards are kind of out of the buy range. They're already very high, but there are some of them that are still decently low. Like this Foot Birthday Mornier interests me at 150K. He hasn't moved too much yet. I think this weekend he would have another opportunity to move. So again, all you can do is just get on the market, look through some of these cards, and um, the special cards indeed. That's what we're looking at. League One special cards that are French, especially, that people are going to use to link to their reds that they get this week and um, for their weekend league teams linking with some of the league one players that they have gotten. Um, that's going to be one thing to watch. Now, I want to kind of get away from that topic. We talked about Thursday for a little bit. Um, this might be a little bit premeditated. We'll talk about this later on in the week as well. But ultimate team this season is going to make some big time waves on this market. And I want to start talking about that to kind of get you guys ready for it because I think you're going to have to start selling your cards early before everybody else starts to thinking about this because the price drops are kind of already happen happening. If you look at some of these cards, Salai, two point whatever, two million. So he's down a little bit, but he hasn't really taken a nosedive. He hasn't gone down a lot. He's just down a couple hundred K. You know, the last couple weeks have been going down, you know, 50 K a week or so. You're still not losing a lot of coins if you bought the card some here and where in here drink tots. Um, but what you're going to see, and I'm going to show you some, some, some graphs here right now. A lot of these cards like Lacazette, um, Alexander Arnold, Sun, Aubameyang, Mane, a lot of these cards that are over a million coins that might get into ultimate tots, um, they're going to get panic sold and they're going to go down even when ultimate tots comes out. Because if you think about it, somebody like Young and Sun, let's say that he doesn't get into ultimate tots. He is 95 rated. He is from the premier league, but let's just say they don't put him in depending on how they evaluate how many strikers they put in, what they do at the bench, if they go by rating, if they weigh the Premier League more because it's the Premier League is more um, valuable to this game of FIFA. I would imagine that the Premier League would have the most players in the Ultimate Tots just because of the fact that those are the most popular players in the game and that's how EA could make more money. But let's say that they don't put him in. I think you could still see this card's price drop a lot because you're going to have Aubameyang, Lockett, or Aubameyang's probably going to get in, Aguero's probably going to get in, Salah probably going to get in, Hazard going to get in. So you're going to have a lot of cards that are just tanking in price. That's going to lower the market overall. And I want to take a look at some of these prices from previous team of the seasons that got into ultimate team of the season and absolutely tanked in price. Take a look at this one. Center mid, team of the season, Conte. This is his card from FIFA 17. Now, I'm looking at FIFA 17 graphs, not FIFA 18, because FIFA 17's team of the season was structured a lot like the one that we're having now. They would have a the major league, and then a secondary league would come out at the same time or, or two days later. Actually, it was at the same time. They came out at the same time. But in FIFA 18, um, they did the whole thing where they just released like the different cards at, at different times. Like last year, it was different from this year um, with like how they did the rest of the world last year. They counted down from 50 or whatever. Um, this year, there were more TOTS cards and packs, and that's why you didn't see the discard discard TOTS items rise up during the SBCs like you did last year because there were so many more cards. Now, that's why I'm kind of comparing to FIFA 17 because this team of the season this year is structured like FIFA 17's team of the season. Look what happens to this Conte when Ultimate Tots happens. So he comes out Premier League, he goes up after Premier League to like 800,000 coins, stays there, gets a little bit of panic sell heading into the next couple weeks before Ultimate Tots. People know it's coming. And then look what happens. He goes from 750K to 455K during Ultimate Tots. So he almost, not, in, not entirely cuts in half, but from his peak point, he almost cuts in half in price down to 400,000 coins. Now, this isn't just a fluke example. T check out a uh, check out Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. I actually packed this card untradeable out of an upgrade pack. He goes from 1.3 million coins to 700,000 coins during Ultimate Tots. Look at the drop on those types of cards that get into Ultimate Team this season. It's ridiculous. The drops on those cards is ridiculous. And that's why I want you guys to get prepared now and kind of be looking ahead and just be thinking like, you know, you know these guys, he probably isn't going to get into ultimate tots. What's going to happen uh, to his card price? And even look at these cards that like, I'm pretty sure Deli Ali would have not have gotten into ultimate tots, but ultimate tots just lowers the market. And it came out on that 23rd, by the way, it just lowers the market. And look what happens. These cards just go flying downwards in price. Let's take a look at one more. Um, 
somebody who for sure didn't get into ultimate tots probably valencia didn't get into ultimate tots he might be too cheap to really look at and to get a good price uh, range balance from but look you can even see that he dropped going from 245k to 180,000 coins the market just entirely lowers itself during ultimate team of the season and that's why i want you guys to get liquid especially if you have some of these tots cards like watch ebra i don't even want to see what ebra's price did i don't even want to see this what happened all right, it went from 1.4 to 1.1. So his demand for this card is still pretty high. So that's how you can, I guess, if you find a really rare card that is um, in demand, it won't drop as much. I mean, he only dropped 300K compared to like a bombing dropped a lot more. But a lot of, they're just going to drop in general. The whole market is going to restructure itself this next week or so with Ultimate Tots being out. I don't know what they're going to do for upgrade packs. I would imagine that they would release them by league, kind of like they did for the team of the year. Uh, promotion where they released the they released the Bundesliga, they released Serie A, and they released Calcio, or um, League One and La Liga, like all at the same time. I would assume that they would release all of those upgrade packs at the same time. Those are the upgrade packs that we wanted, first of all, during Team of the Season, and those w might be what they release. I really hope that they don't release the 81 plus packs again with the rare requirements. I hope they give us the old. Uh, 7.5k pack for the league and a 25k pack for the league specific i hope we get those that's really what we want that's what we've been asking for this whole time and i really hope we get that during ultimate team of the season that would be very nice because i would go ham on packs during that time as well but again if you guys have any of these team of the season cards we're talking premier league we're talking bundesliga we're talking literally any other any any tots cards um get them out thursday I would say Thursday during rewards because there would be some people that are buying on the game and get those out if you can and take your coins. I mean, some of these cards have already started dropping. I mean, you look at Ronaldo, he's not actually 8 million. He was just like 7.5 on the market. He's Look at, look at him on PS, 7.4 mil. And look at that on the daily graph. I mean, he was up here at eight and a half, seven nine on Xbox, 8.0. I'm gonna look at the hourly to see where he's actually at. Seven nine. I know I saw one cheaper than that today. Maybe not. Maybe it's yesterday. I saw him at 7.6 at one point. So, but he's dropping on on PS as well. So a lot of these cards are just going to continue dropping, and I wanted to notify you guys to get them out of the club. That's kind of our first look at uh, what Ultimate Tots is going to bring to the market. So I wanted to really notify you guys about that, along with looking through some of the Thursday flipping. I think this Marquinhos card is actually going to do very well over here in Xbox. He's very rare. He's very rare. I could see that hitting 150. Um, and then some of these TOTS cards as well are probably going to rebound. If you look, we can go back and look at the Serie A TOTS from last week. I bought myself, who did I buy last week? I bought a couple cards that I flipped. Uh, who was it? Maybe it was Chiesa and Correa. They rose up out of packs a little bit. Gomez, I think, rose up. Cancelo maybe did a little bit. But what you're going to be able to do with the Serie A, excuse me, with the League 1 Team of the Season cards is, you know, two to three hours after rewards, especially guys that you saw rise today. Di Maria this morning. We're going to have to go to the transfer list for this one. If you want to flip some cards after rewards on Thursday, the guys that you want to look at are the ones that rebounded big uh, this past week or just earlier this week. So Di Maria, I bought this for 440,000 coins today. He's actually 540 now. I sold him too early. But you see that kind of fluctuation on a card. This is a card that I'm going to be watching during weekend league rewards. Because I know he's going to get packed. I know people are going to sell him. Look at this. 450, 440 right in here is when I bought mine. And look what happens right afterwards. He goes right up to 500k and he actually kept going. I sold him too early. Um, other cards are rebounded today. I have I didn't watch this Savonier card, but I'm guessing he did a little bit. Let's take a look at his card. 168. Okay, he didn't move too much. He didn't move too much. Thiago Mendes moved a little. Marquinhos moved some. Bought him at 400k. He's now 440. I actually sold him on my transfer list. I sold two of them in the buyback hype for 470, 475. So that was pretty nice. But again, the cards that you saw move um, on Tuesday when I'm recording this video, the cards that you saw move on Tuesday for the Ultimate Tots SBC, um, those are going to be the same ones that move after Weekend League when they get some more supply. It just shows that they're hyped, that people are using them. Um, that people want them in their team. So that's one thing that you can look at again for weekend league rewards trading, but focus on the, the league one specials and just get liquid is my opinion. Get liquid, ultimate tots, 
they could throw in some promotion to try to spice up team of the season where they like throw all kinds of like maybe they do best of team of the season with the main leagues and they also have best of team of the season for the minor leagues in packs as well. You know, you guys have Militao, Tellez, um, the Air Divisi guys like Delict, Dumfries, De Young. Those guys being back in packs, people are gonna open packs, people are gonna try to spend some money to get those players. And if they, especially if they throw like a two for one packs or, or something like that out as well. I mean, that's something that EA has at their sleeve that they can throw out at any time that we have to be ready for. That's something that we need to kind of watch for this week. So I'm saying get liquid, and this is really the end of the game. As you saw in these FIFA 17 graphs, we'll look one more time. After this, everything is just chilling. We're just chilling for the next couple months until FIFA 18 comes out. Not really much of a rise in these cards. They stay pretty much the same. So after this week with Ultimate Tots, this next week with Ultimate Tots, it really starts to slow down. And that's when the game is officially kind of a dying. I mean, we don't have World Cup this year. I don't think we're going to have festival football because that was World Cup based last year. I don't think we're going to have any of that this year. I do expect footies and maybe some re-releasing of older SBCs. They've done that um, in years past on FIFA. So again, Thursday flipping, I think is a go this week. Just get liquid. Sell your TOTS cards if you have them just to be safe. That's my, my way around it. Um, even if you're losing some coins, that's what I did today. I got this Griezmann out. It was a fresh Griezmann. I lost like 150K on this card, but I don't care. Actually, I lost like 250K. I can't do math. I lost like 250K on that card, but I needed to get it out because that card might be like 1718, maybe even 15 uh, next week during Ultimate Team of the Season. So I want to get you guys ready for that and also talk about the Thursday flipping. Good luck with those. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.